you in the mood to play. Take it away, operator.
Are we working? Oh my god. I did not know. I did not know the mic wasn't even working. It's on. Like, can you hear me now? I've been talking for like an hour and nothing's been going on. No one said anything. I, I, I. Voices are back. I didn't even know the mic wasn't even working. I don't even. You know, I blame the computer because last night when I went to turn it off, it did an update. And you know what happens whenever an update happens, right? Everything goes to hell. So for an hour, no one can hear me. That's, uh, that's funny. That's great. You know, I've been just speaking to the void. Some funny stuff was being said, I assure you. Okay, but in all reality, uh, you haven't missed much. Been doing some cleanup on ch uh, gathering standard chips. I got the technical issue of the day. Don't you just love computers? And how when they update, it just messes with everything? Don't you love it? Here's the one of the new program advances. Big noise. Okay. Four hundred damage, and it hits a pretty wide range. I just been speaking to the void, and I didn't even know it. Uh, I hate technology sometimes. I feel like this is the... Like, I have the biggest issue with computers with this sort of thing. That's why I like consoles. Whenever something updates, like, <laughs> my settings don't get reset, you know? To supposedly, I can get some chips here, as well as there's a uh, so the green mystery data and uh, stuff from green mystery data, as well as stuff from uh, the trumpet guy. And you know what? There might have been some people that just showed up randomly and just saw me talking in the void and just said absolutely nothing. Maybe. I don't know. I have to assume that that happened. Because I don't know what else could have happened. Masterways when they have to update their software. It's, everything like goes downhill whenever the PC actually needs to update. Quote unquote needs. Because something goes wrong with your settings. Every time. I hate PC so much. I hate PC so much because of that. No, you can't just keep the settings. That'd be too easy. We gotta reset everything. And you 
won't know it. There, it wouldn't be a stop off stream without some sort of technical issues, right? But yeah, I actually had no idea, like, there was that audio issue going. Gotta save the buck bags. Supposedly there's a trumpet guy here. That I can get a check on. But yeah, uh, other than uh, what's been going on, Hot Sun Dog? What's been going on? Again, supposedly there's a trumpet guy here. Mystery data was a virus. I don't want that. I meant to save. I know where one is. But even though my mic has been was muted for a while. You really didn't miss too much. Trap, wide shot for you. Which, I have that code. So that's not that, right? These guys, the Trumpy SP, I think. That's what I want. Best way to handle it. I think it'd be awful world. So I'll fall apart. Gone to a sneak sniper critical. That was moving everything back so fast. Very nice. That is actually wait, that is actually not the one I wanted. Yeah, that's not the one. I thought it replaces the enemy here. Maybe that's the wrong trumpet. Uh, so... You know how I told you about that whole Samurai Warriors, like, getting level 6 weapon, like, being RNG? I managed to get it. <laughs> I managed to get the weapon. Somehow. Still kind of feels a little bit luck-based, but I managed to get it. Stressful because like you can't you you can't have any of the enemies die from basically each other. So it's a little bit RNG and a little bit of like you just need a rush, you know. Let's take one more trip through Undernet too. See if we can open the green mystery day and get something. Else. So, like, there are, like, three groups of enemies to kind of worry about, and, like, every time I take out the one that's most likely get to get a kill before I do anything else, I basically have to make a choice between two groups that are very far apart. And sometimes, when I go towards one, I may, I'm able to get that done before something bad happens to the north, and vice versa. Eventually... I kind of noticed that here and there, the group that's sometimes to the very south, the one with Yukimura, Kunu, 
Kunoichi and one of the other enemy groups that's basically 2v1, sometimes I notice they don't directly fight each other all the time. Like, they're fighting, quote-unquote, but, like, Yukimura and Kunoichi are not targeting the guy. They're just targeting the surrounding goons. And when I realized that, I'm like, I think this is just what I have to do. I have to save them for last. Because if I uh, don't, there's like four enemies group up together and one of them's gonna kill. So I just had to hope with all of my heart that Yukimura or Kunuichi do not get back. And the successful attempt actually made that work. It, it still feels luck-based, though. <laughs> still very, very luck-based. Where's the group? One's over there again. Actually, if I go shadow, I can walk normally. But yeah, so I basically took down, there's like a group in, like all, all of these fights take place kind of in the middle, but in like different sections, right? So there's like a group of four enemies in the north middle. There's one group of 1v1, like directly in the middle. And then there's like the southern middle where it's Yukimura, Kunoichi, and one of the other, group, uh, other one of the other units. I found that... You need to go to the one that's directly in the middle, the one that's the 1v1, and take out the yellow unit. Leave the red unit alone. Like, don't bother with it. Ignore it. Uh, leave them alone. Then, head up to the northern middle section and take down, like, all four guys that are there. <laughs> Then go back down and take down the red unit I ignored. And then there's, after that, there's still, like, six other units that are kind of in that section, but you kind of just need to leave them alone. To then head straight down for, to, towards Yukimura. And, uh, you kind of ignore him, but just take down the yellow unit that he's trying to target. So you take him down, you can head back. Head back towards the center, basically. It's a lot of back and forth, but made it work eventually. Is this a virus or is this Zenny? Okay, well. With that, I didn't get whatever chip that was going to be in there. However, I think maybe we should just... Oh yeah, Katana 3. Right, right, right. Okay, let's go grab Katana 3 at Gargoyle, and then we'll start going Navi hunting. The mosquitoes are attacking you. Oh no, not the mosquitoes. I mean... They're very annoying. 
Uh, I think I'm thinking my area, we're kind of at the point where we're going to start dealing with mosquitoes, but I don't have to deal with it just yet. <laughs> Not dealing with mosquitoes just yet. Lucky me. Won't last long. Granted, the other day, I had my window open, and a bee flew in. It's just like, oh, great. That's, uh, I don't like that. Eventually, it flew out my window, but it took a little while, but, you know, that's just a, one of those things where it's like, no, I am not staying in my room. Not until that bee gets out of there. Gargoyle, let's go for the tonic. So, uh, I've actually watched all the way through the Knuckles TV show now. I finished the last episode yesterday. Uh, at best, it's okay. You had a bad injury room two weeks ago. That's, that's terrifying. That's a terrifying thought. Run. Can I run from these guys? Okay, good. But yeah, I watched through the Knuckles TV show. Uh, at best, it is okay. At worst, it is unbearable to sit through. <laughs> like, no joke. Episode 3 is the worst. Like, that was very hard to actually sink through. And episode 4 is slightly better, but not by much. we could find the katana guy. Might be in, like, area two. Um, number? I guess. True, it's not going at best. Okay, absolutely. You know what? You're not wrong. That's a pretty accurate uh, Sonic moment. It's truly a Sonic thing to do, which is just be okay at best, and then unbearable at worst. But, here's the thing. Like, the movies themselves are fine, right? And when I say at best it's okay, I mean that in the sense like, at best, it's kind of the same writing quality as the movies. Nowadays. And that's not the worst thing. However, sometimes the writing gets a little bit even dumbed down, like, even more, like, even more than what it already was. <laughs> to where it's just like, why did we need to dumb down the writing a little bit for this scene? Why? Because it's a TV show? Or is it because it's, ki it's for kids? The movies themselves, I don't remember going this dumbed down. But I have a theory with uh, with the Knuckles show on why some of the scenes like feel so unbearable to like sit through, as well as like why episode three is such a bad episode. I think the original script was supposed to was made for a movie. It was written for a movie that was around two hours. And there's Katana 3. But... Okay, a bee ran into my window. That's all okay. <laughs> but... They pitched it as a movie. They wrote the script as a movie first. But then the execs told them, No, you're making it a TV show. And... It's a six-episode TV show with a half an hour per episode, give or take. When you add it all up, it's only like 
two hours and 40 minutes if you minus out the intros and credits, give or take. And I have a feeling that some of those m really unbearable moments were just kind of supposed to be, like, trimmed down or, like, in the original script, they were just stretched out. Like, they were there, but then they just stretched it out as long as they could to fill in time. And those were that... Those were the points where the show was really unwatchable. Were those obviously stretched out moments in my eyes. Okay. Um... We have nine more standard chips, however. Let's start navy hunting. I want... Clear. Let's basically clear everything out. Except for these two. Let's find air shoes. can go here. There and speed. Alright. Okay. So we can start with Gridman and Larkman. That would be easiest. What's my folder looking like? I have this, like, how it is because I can program advance, but I want to swap it to where they're the same code. Granted, none of them match up with anything else, so keeping them as is isn't going to actually hurt anything. Actually, yeah, like, I don't have any other L's and M's, or N's. Granted, though, uh, no, 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 keeping them as is is probably okay. Besides, I mostly use them for Tomahawk Soul anyway. But if I use them for Tomahawk Soul, I might as well just keep using them. Hmm. Let's go... Let's go to Gridman. Let's go fight Gridman first. That'll be easy. Well, easy to... Uh, you know, just talk to him. You know. Don't have to hunt him down. I, I'm gonna have to pull up a list on where everyone's located. Except for Colonel, I know where he's at. Unless they change locations like this is Battle Network 3. I... But yeah, uh, for a TV show that's called Knuckles, I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the time it doesn't feel like it's his show. In fact, there's a lot of times where he's just gone. It's like, oh, it's this other character's show, really. Okay, fine. It's the human character. Whatever. Like, I don't know if that was just because it's a budgetary reason or if that was the original intention. Or not. I don't know. Supposedly there's a trade that can be done here. Somewhere on Orin Isle. I'm gonna see if I can find whatever this person... Uh... I'm gonna see if I can find this person on my way to uh, uh, Mr. Famous. There. Also, I'd say there's like, like, there's almost like four main, there's almost like four antagonists, honestly. I would say it feels a little bit much, but actually only by one of them. One of them feels like he does absolutely nothing until he becomes the final boss. The other three, like, one's an antagonist in the sense that he's just, you know, just an asshole to the human character, but not a villain. But then you got two gun agents that are part of the bad guys. They're only there, like... They disappear for, like, two episodes and then come back randomly, kind of thing. So, like, they're gone. They're just straight up gone for, like, two episodes. 
And then the other one is like a bounty hunter that just kind of shows up for like an episode. Actually more like two episodes and that's it. I don't know. That feels weird. Again, I feel like the script for the Knuckles show was supposed to be a movie. And if it was a movie, it probably would have been better. Because it wouldn't have been stretched out. <laughs> Alright, Gridman. Let's try to get your love your SP chip. What can we do? Let's just start getting rid of stuff. It's That's the thing, because episode three is so unbearable to watch, I find it hard to rank. Like, that, that episode alone makes it very hard to recommend. But, like, 1, 2, 4, no, 1, 2, 5, and 6 are okay. That would have been an S rank. That would have been an SP chip, but I got hit. Um. Again, it it's hard. It's very difficult for me to recommend it. Cause at best, it's fine TV. It's okay. Watch it once and get it over with. Will Sonic 3 reference it? I don't know. Maybe. But at worst, that. that Episode 3 is so bad. Episode 3 is... Nothing happens in Episode 3. And it's very hard to sit through. Like, that alone makes it very difficult. Okay, hold on. Uh, let's go... Uh -huh. uh, it's a very hard recommendation. But at the very least, because it's six episodes, it doesn't take that long to watch through. So... So, you kinda tell, like, I don't know where I sit fully on it. I wanted to try this. We have the program advance for big noise. Chaos unison for number man. Okay. Plus 50. And I messed up because I didn't know it had a range. And I messed that up. Okay. Well. Also, another reason why I don't recommend it. Knuckles did not learn what rap is. So, no. That, that, that right there. Big, big no. He, no. <laughs> he didn't get to learn what rap is. That's all I wanted from the show. I wanted Knuckles to discover what rap is. That, um, okay. And <laughs> it just summoned another one. I mean, I'm not getting the SP chip in this one, that's for sure. Like, for sure, that is not happening. <laughs> and 
And you know what's really annoying? You know what character I hate the most? So, okay. This is a Knuckles show, but however, he teams up with... I don't know if you've seen the movies, but there's like the the second cop he teams up with. Like the, the side character cop. I don't remember. His name is Wade Ripple. Uh, he's, he has like small roles in the normal movies, right? And it's really his show, to be honest. That in itself is not necessarily a problem, but episode three. They end up going to, like, his mother's place, right? His mother's not the issue. It's Wade's sister that I hate so much. She is the most annoying thing in the show. And she doesn't shut up whenever she's around. You see, his sister is an FBI agent. And will never stop telling you that she is. And in my opinion, she is a poser. She is... Well, let me watch the first movie and it's all fine. That's all fine. It's all fine. I think he popped up there. But, like, such a side character. Like, whatever. But no, I think his sister is just a poser. I think she's... she's she works at the FBI. She's not lying. However, I think she just works at, like, the, the cafeteria. You know? She gets to wear the uniform, but she doesn't do anything. So, but she gets to say she works for the FBI because anytime something happens, she does nothing and complain. Whenever, like, when they're, ha she's complaining like, "Oh, I'm from the FBI. I'm so cool. I learn. I know how all this stuff. You suck, Wade." And then, like, when their house gets raided in episode three, what does she do? Nothing. I think she's a poser. It, it, she, she is the worst aspect of, ep, of the show, honestly. It, she's very annoying. And I blame the writers, honestly. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by how annoying that character is. Please target the right one. Thank you. Okay. Um, this there is even a point in like episode five where this, uh, the sister and mother get captured, right? And they're being used as bargaining chips for, you know, to get knuckles, right? From Wade, right? And uh, one of them points the gun at the sister, and Wade's just like, no, go ahead, do what you want, I don't care. And I'm like, you know what? Do it. I don't care. Get her out of here. This character sucks. And then they didn't go through. Heavily disappointed. Let's get it back. Okay, let's get anti damage going. Let's get invis going. How? Does he have invincibility once he tackles some once he tries to tackle someone? Because that's cheap. Um, okay. No, I think we'll just do this, and I think we'll activate number soul. Okay. Got him confused. Something. I think we should go with Leader Raid. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Okay, 
Chaos Lord. That's a lot of damage. Do I want to use that right now? Is that what I want to do? I think so. So that I get rid of this. Snap. And Chaos Lord it is. I forgot I had that safety net that was anti-damage. Okay. Now he's trapped. He can't do anything. So now what I can do is... This. Is that enough? Look how close that was. And I don't think I actually got hit at all. I was one second short. Okay. Do I attempt Toad Man? Do I go number? Yeah, I will attempt Toad Man. And I can use this up. Dang, I got hit. Well, that's a fail. That is indeed a fail. Remember, soul it is. Um, I guess we'll try to set up the Guardian. Actually, will this work? No, it doesn't. Huh, interesting. That's new to me. I mean, it's a fantastic move. It would be more fantastic if it was a multi-hit move. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, if I had Cross Divide set up with Dark Number Man, I think that might actually deal more damage. However, I do think that breaking his tiles is the way to go. Yeah, Sonic Adventure. Sonic Adventure 1 or 2, one of them. Uh, I'm a... That, uh, 1 and 2 uh, is eventually on the list for me to play this year. So, like, I will eventually be playing through them. But yeah, I love Sonic Adventure. Can I even use Leer Raid since there's... Hmm, probably not. Um... Okay. You can make him. Okay, yeah, Proto Man's blocked. Proto Man was blocked. Oh, that's okay. L, M, and N. Toad Soul, just in case. Actually, I think I need all the tiles to come back. Now that I think about it. Perfect. Get out of here. I got hit, so it doesn't matter. I mean, that could have gave me the S rank, uh, the SP chip at rank 10, but it wasn't guaranteed. Let's try it again. Dark Toad Man has its wrists, but I think I need to start with it. And let's... let's Scully, actually. That will help. That. And we got two wide shots in, that's nice. Let's go normal number soul at the moment. I'm gonna use up these two chips. Okay. I'm upset at myself. Well. Did 
Too bad I can't run from these fights. Because at this point I would have. Again, that could have gotten me the SP chip. It could have. But I still want the S rank because I would be able to get the the time to boost up the actual power of the SP chip. I think I need to actually just go straight into time. Start using some of this up. Okay, that's something. Let's see. Leader raid, I guess. Let's save in this. to use up something. I think I'm gonna have Invis and get rid of Mark Cannon. I, I don't know if I will use Mark Cannon. So. Yes. That worked out. Okay. Next, I guess we'll... Dark Number Man. Power Up Shadow Man. Chaos Lord. This should do it. This should do it. Are you ready? Yes, he is. Get dunked. We have Brit. Gridman Dark So How did I get that? I'm not evil. How did I get that? I mean, it, it counts, but... Hold on. Why did I get the Dark Soul instead of the Navi ship? Hold on. Uh... seconds without getting hit to avoid oh it's avoid flinching i thought it was just getting hit in general okay i guess super armor would actually affect it uh, i just want to know like what causes This is Gridman Beta. Oh, we need to find the Omega Navi. Okay. This is a little bit weird. Yeah, this is a little weird. Forgive me. I thought we'd be getting the SP chip. At this point, I'm just trying to... You know... 
You know what? I don't care. I'm just gonna stand around and just get hit. I don't care. Alright. In this case, maybe I should look up Navi locations. If you S-rank the beta version, you get... Uh... The dark shit. Omega is actually in a different spot now for the Omega variant. That's why I was always confused. Okay. okay supposedly there is a trade somewhere in Oron area. I'm just doing one more lap through. See if I can find a hidden person or something. Because I don't know what the internet's talking about. Supposedly there's a trade I could do here. Doll, Orin Isle Trade. That's all it says. But there's like no one here. So what is going on? There's like no one here. Like. <laughs> okay, whatever. Could be in one of the net spots, but I don't want to do that, so whatever. Okay, so let's go after Larkman, and I guess we're gonna grab his Dark Soul chip. I guess. Like to get the Dark Soul chips, I would have to. I thought to get the Dark Soul chips, I would have to um, do something like with Battle Network 4 and like Green Mystery Day and Nebula area sort of thing. But no, you just straight up just get them here and there. There's no one hidden there. I thought there would be someone hidden. on the island, even though I'm being... Uh, the internet's telling me there's a trade here, but I, I, I think the internet's lying to me. Okay, let's... Actually, what's the fastest way? I think we want to go to End City and we'll take this spot. We're gonna find Larkman, get his... I guess we're gonna find his Dark Soul chip. You can't do anything. And neither can I. Looks like this. All right. Off to find Dark Man, get his Dark Soul chip, and then we can start going after the other guy. 
I think beating the beta variants of these guys will allow the omega variants to spawn, so we have to do this. Who died? Um, I don't know. I don't know who died. News to me. We got Gr uh, Gridman's Dark Soul chip. I don't know if you saw that. I thought it was going to be the SP chip, but no, I misunderstood how this works. Anyway. So here's Lark Man, or Swallow Man, if you're you know, his actual name. Alright, we need to S-rank him to get his Dark Soul chip. Just start with number soul, honestly. Could use him. I'm gonna take a little bit to learn his pattern, but oh, God. oh, wow. Okay, wasn't prepared for that. I guess I could use him again, but apparently, I just read that. It's not necessarily about not getting hit. It's about not flinching. So if you have if you have super armor, that actually covers it. Like because of super armor, you don't flinch, and so you can actually keep a higher ranking and still get hit. But I don't think. I don't even know if I even have super armor. I don't think I, Yeah, I don't think so. Can I, like... Yeah, I could totally man it later. Or Colonel. Nah. Nah. Let's just set up the program bags. Truly not an S moment. No, this is not. This is not an S moment. I, I need to relearn his pattern. Good to know that Cactus Dance is really good on him. Okay, gotta relearn his pattern. Let's try that again. So, I think we'll just start with using up Leader Raid and leave like that for now. Okay. And now, I think I'll use Toad Man. And then I have Mark Cannon 3. I can paralyze him with my Mega Buster. Yeah. I can keep myself safe with anti damage and I can use him. That. And then I want to. I think I want to go into. Wait. Do I want to go to Number Soul? No, you know what? I think it's time for Tomahawk. And we'll do this. Okay. There we go. Dark Soul. There we go. That is another Mega Chip down. We need four more. We don't have any lock enemies. I have a feeling we're gonna need them. All right, let's start going down the list, I guess. Let's find Nightman. Let's start with Nightman. is actually in area one of ACDC. I think it might be found. 
I think I have an idea of where he's at. We gotta fight the beta and then the omega version. Can I run? Again, we don't need to do all the nappy hunting if we don't want to, but we at least need four chips. Okay, I thought he was there. Supposedly, Nightman is around here somewhere. somewhere. Oh, he might be up there. Anyway, I think he's up here. Nope. Okay, never mind. Cosmic crystal. Very nice. Won't take much more, right? You got one more match to go. Is he here? No? Where the hell is Nightman? It says area one. Oh, he might. Okay, he might be in the square. Okay, hold on. And he lost the match. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Or did you have to actually win all three? Nightman? Nightman! That's a virus. There he is! Okay. It was actually faster to just leave your normal terminal. Um. Okay. I did recently save. So it's not that big of a deal. I think it's best to S rank him now. So we could just guarantee the dark chip. Because I don't know how the drops will work when uh, we do when we fight the Omega version. So let's just get the dark chip now. Alright, next. Uh, I have number soul. I could get fusing. Set up leader raid. Okay. Uh, yeah, Dark Toad Man. And then we can utilize this. Top of the road. Choking. Thanks, Air Shoes. Oh, I could have powered. Damn. Okay. In this case, I think it's time. Tomahawk. Oh. Too soon, I guess. There we go. Is that S rank? I don't think it is. No, it's not. I'm resetting that save. Because once he's out in the field, once now that he's out in the he would be out in the field, it would be the Omega variant, and I don't know how that works. So I guess we just need the dark chips. We can save the SP ones for later. Now we can fight. We can save the SP ones for later. Just getting the dark chip would be good enough. I guess we're starting this out with Dark Toad, man. I want to get that. Kept choking on the charge. Yeah, one's good enough. Um, I guess we can use him. Count. 
Look at this. Look at this. Leader raid times two. 800 damage. Oh, that is so nice. Now. You know, it's nice to have the program advance right here. However, I think we need to win this in style. Oh, wait. I think I messed this up. I messed that up. Too soon. That was too soon. Never mind. Uh, honestly, in this case, that, that, that was, that was lame. There we go. That was a failure on epic proportions. No wonder I wasn't getting the records because I wasn't fighting the Omega versions. I guess we'll just focus on dark stuff. This allows me more time to gather money for more lock enemies. If I wanted to fight Nightman Omega, I technically need to leave the net and come back in. So I guess next up would be Shadow Man, I guess. Let's see. We don't need to fight. Oh, actually, we will need to fight and get the dark chips for, like, Blizzard Man, Shade Man, all of that. I guess if I'm going to be doing a run, I might as well just use some chat. But I'm going to be running from those fights. If I can. Let's see. Orn area one. Silent three. Okay. So what we are going to do is we're going straight for we're going for Shadow Man next. A oh, bug bomb. I think that's new. Or is this a buffer? This is a buffer. Okay. Always get concerned. How much money do I have? Not much. Oh, I have to try. I have to. I have to get that green mystery. Okay, it's not poison tiles, which is a lot easier. Eh. I mean, maybe I'll use this later, but make a buster at the best of time. Yeah, three is listening to Rise of the Ring. So as long as you don't lose all three, you're fine. So even if you just get one win, you're okay. It's all good. Man, there's a chance we'll find a lizard man here. And you won by two points. It's okay. Okay. Uh, very 100. Sweet. I'm pretty sure I have it, though. Yeah, and Samurai Warriors, right now, like, after I got the last weapon, the sixth weapon for Akuni, now I just kind of need to take a little bit of time, finish powering her up. That. It's not hard, it just means I have to. I'm replaying one of the levels over and over again. 
quite good points to get all your skills, but that won't take that long. But then I'll be moving on to the next character, which I think it's Kunoichi. Which require again, it's a lot of powering up and then trying to figure out if I can even get the sixth weapon. And by if, I mean it's eventually I'll get it. It's more of like how I haven't looked it up yet. Also, like I don't know if there's an in-game way in, of knowing uh, how to get these six weapons. I think this is one of those things where you needed the strategy guide just to tell you, hey, like, this is how you're supposed to get these weapons. Because I don't think there's anything in game telling you. One means to keep. One win just means you slow down your losing rank position. I see. Okay, I had a feeling he probably was here. Shadow Man, which I haven't saved, but uh, it's okay. Let's start with Pack the Ball, Tomahawk. Let's confuse him. Confuse him like the best. Wow, okay. No, I can't afford to get hit. At least I know where he's at. Let me think this again. You gotta S rank him. For ideal results. But yeah, I think if you wanted to look for the level 5 or level 6 weapons, you I think they wanted you to buy a strategy guide just to just so they could tell you where it's at. Because I don't know in-game how you're supposed to find out any of this stuff. This is not a good starting. I got hit. Okay. It's like if you lose three matches, you lose 60 points. You lose two, you lose 40, and you lose 20. I see. Okay. Do I want a ton? No, you know what? I want a toad man. So maybe I can lead a raid. His shadow clones, Toad Man's actually hard to use. I mean, it can work, but it's just not that likely. I guess I'll just focus on confusing him. Or try to confuse him anyway. Activate that so it gets some stun long enough. That what? Next up, I have one more turn. Toad Man, Dark Toad Man would normally be okay, but I don't think now's the time to need it. Let's just use no. Oh. Actually, you know what? We will use Dark Toad Man. just to use it. I don't know. Just can't get hit. Well, I'm gonna use your own strategy against you, Shadow Man. 
Watch as I deal 100 damage per hit. Look at this. Oh, that's... Mm. I didn't know his clones would be targeted. That is mean. I did not know his clones would be targeted. Okay, what do I do? Dark Toad Man. Invis, so I'm safe. Fine, whatever. I thought it would have to hit him, but no, as long as you were going for the attack. And it would have normal whatever. Okay. Shadow Man's annoying. Soul, and I think we'll go for the confusion. Okay, what do we got? Um, I could lead a raid, I could confuse him. That's on me. That was on me. Shaman's hard. Shaman's a little difficult. Okay. I'm not gonna tomahawk it, actually. I think tomahawk man is a bad idea. Not the best idea. It powers him up, too. I wonder if I need to go in Shadow Man style. Shadow style, so I have to reflect. Um. Uh, you know what? If I do this right now before his clones attack. His clones just pop up way too quickly. Let's try it. Okay, that opens it up. Nah, oh well. Oh, <laughs> chat. I got the dark ship anyway. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. I didn't need the S rank. S ranking it technically doesn't matter. We're going to Scilab 4 now. Double save. I don't care. Off to Scilab. Actually, S ranking for these beta versions doesn't actually matter. I can I can afford to get hit once, and even then, that's a uh, iffy. Like, there's a chance I'll get it. When we do fight the Omega versions, though, that's when we have to treat it fully seriously. to Scilab. There is a chance we'll run into Shade Man. We do need the Dark Chip from him, so I'm gonna have to actually try. I wonder if 
dark, if the dark chip is a reward you could get on the liberation mission. I, I never actually looked at the actual rewards. the green buff fragment. I need that. I'm keeping that. I'm gonna keep it. No Shade Man fight. We need to go all the way to Scilab 4, I'm reading. For our next fight. Oh yeah, uh, I don't know if you ever heard of po uh, the Pokey Rogue thing going on. I tried it out last night. It's actually rather fun. Like it's a nice like. Oh, I got a few. I got a few minutes. I'll give it a round sort of thing. Like I'll give it an attempt or two or five. <laughs> Only two H. I don't know if I have that. Code. Things are gonna cause poison. Can I? Ooh, wait. I think I can make it work. Never heard of it. It's just kind of a roguelike Pokemon game. It's technically on the browser. It's just a website you go to. It's actually rather fun.